This one's got a feature that you just don't see that often. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. Anytime a company reaches out to me more than once, it gives me the opportunity to do a long-term test of their product and that's exactly what I've done with this cycling bat. You may remember this particular case here. This is the case that I built using the cycling bat mini in the fall of last year. I've been running this battery for roughly a year now and I've put it through pretty extensive testing. This was the only 100 amp hour battery that I carried with me when I went to Hamcation and then spent an additional two weeks on the road after Hamcation in the RV and I used the snot out of this battery and it has always performed flawlessly. Well, now we've got an improved version of the Mini. Now, it is slightly bigger. Let's take a quick look at those measurements. We've got uh, about six and a half inches wide. We've got just over 10 inches uh, in length. And let's see, we've got uh, just over eight inches in height. So it is just slightly bigger than that mini size battery. Now, this is a standard 100 amp hour battery, which will give you about 1,280 watt hours of power. I did go ahead and do the standard discharge test with this battery. I discharged it at 10 amps and it took roughly 10 hours and gave us a total of 102 amp hours out of this battery before uh, that test was completed. In addition to that, I also froze this battery overnight and was very pleased to see that the low temp charge protection worked as advertised. Now, this battery though has Bluetooth but that's not the most unique factor with it. But let's take and connect the phone to the Bluetooth app and give you guys a quick glance at it. The app gives us a great overview of exactly what's going on with the battery. And one awesome thing about this app is you do not have to sign up for any type of account before you use this. Just connect it to the battery and you're off to the races. So taking a look at the dashboard here, you can see the battery is at 100%. You'll see that we've got 13.3 volts. And right now we're currently discharging uh, the battery and we're pulling just under five amps from it or about 62 watts. The battery health indicator is right below that, telling us that the battery is in good shape. And then right below that, we've got a button that we can use to turn off the charging or the discharging for this battery. If it is highlighted, so it gives you that kind of greenish color, then that tells you that it's on. I'm going to simply click on the uh, discharging button right there. You'll see that turns gray and now the battery is completely turned off from discharging. So that shut down the little meter that I've got there that I would typically use to test the capacity of these batteries. If we go ahead and click on that again, you'll see that it turns the battery right back on and then we get all of the information again here in our dashboard. Also notice that it gives us the discharge time and that's the amount of time that it will take to discharge the battery entirely given the current rate at which we're pulling power out of this particular battery. Now, if we click on sales down there at the very bottom, it will bring up a list of our sales and give us the individual sale voltages. And you can see that they are all very close to 3.31 volts. There is some slight differences, but that's to be expected even when these batteries have been fully balanced. Below the individual cell voltages, you will also see the temperature of the battery. So right now we're at 20.8 degrees Celsius or 69.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let me show you guys the most unique feature of this particular battery. If I click on the About button, you'll see a thing there that says Advanced Settings. If we click on that, it's going to ask us for the password. We'll give it the password of 999000. We'll go ahead and click confirm. And now you are able to completely reprogram this BMS. So it's got all of the different settings 
and you can set this up exactly the way you want it. Now I'm going to skip past the basic configuration and the software configuration. I want to come down here to the voltage configuration and take a look at this. So we can do over voltage protection for the individual cells and then we can do an over voltage protection release. So in other words, if it gets over 3.75 volts for an individual cell, it's going to shut down charging. Once it gets back below 3.6 volts, it will go ahead and take that hold off and allow you to charge the battery once again. The same thing applies for the under voltage protection, which is currently set at 2.3 volts and the under voltage protection release set at 2.4 volts. We can uh, change the overall uh, voltage protection of the entire pack, which is currently set at 15 volts and the release is 14.4 volts. And then the under voltage protection for the entire pack right now is set to 9.2 volts and the release is at 9.6 volts. Below that, you also have the option to change the temperature configuration. And this is one of the coolest things for this particular pack. So you can see the over temp protection for charging is set at 65 degrees Celsius. And I have no reason to believe that I will ever be trying to charge this battery if it's hotter than that. The one that I'm a little bit more interested in though is the under temperature protection. And you can see right now that that is set to zero degrees Celsius and it will not charge until it gets back up above five degrees Celsius. So that's going to protect this battery to where it cannot be charged while it's freezing. Now, for a little bit of extra safety in there, I might bump that up, the under temp charge protection, to let's say three degrees Celsius. If we wanna do that, you just simply highlight that and you put in your new value. So we'll give it 3.0 and click confirm. Now it's going to update and you'll see that if it gets below three degrees Celsius now, it's not going to allow me to charge it and it won't take a charge until it gets back up above five degrees Celsius. Now we also have another tab at the top called the function settings. If we click on that, you can turn on and off various things inside this part of the app. So if you want to do a load check for your batteries, you can go ahead and turn that on. You can turn on balancing. Uh, you could turn the charge balancing on or off. And then the temperature, I believe there's only one temperature probe in this battery, and that would be number one, which is already set to on. Having a user configurable BMS is not a feature you see very often, and I'm glad they included it in the cycling bat. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.